One of the primary tasks in building a Roku channel is creating the content feed. The feed connects the content in your catalog with your Roku channel. It provides all the information needed to display and launch video and audio content. In this lesson, we'll discuss how the content feed is used to load and organize content in the channel UI, review how the content node maps metadata in your content feed to the scene graph components in your channel UI, and provide a few tips for creating your own feed. The content feed is a cloud-hosted file that contains the metadata for each title in your catalog. It tells your channel where to find the movie or television show to be played, and the title, description, thumbnail image, and other information to be used when displaying it. A content feed typically contains hundreds to thousands of content items. Each entry contains a series of metadata fields that describe the content. This includes the unique ID, name, description, thumbnail image, and URL. You will use this metadata to add content to your channel's UI. For example, when you are developing the channel's home and details pages, you will get the thumbnail images, titles, and other relevant metadata from the feed and use it to populate a grid, list, or panel. The feed may also contain metadata for organizing content in your channel. The feed can include content type fields that identify whether content is a movie or TV show, tags, and genre fields that can be used to categorize content as sports, comedy, drama, and so on. You can use these types of fields, for example, to create rows of related content in your channel's homepage. The content metadata in your feed is linked to the components in your channel UI via the content node. The content node is a special non-renderable node that is categorized as a data node. It has attributes that are designed to be mapped to the metadata in your content feed. For example, the content node has descriptive attributes such as title, description, and poster URL that are used to display content. And it has playback attributes such as the URL and stream format that are used to launch content. Check out the content metadata documentation for all the attributes that the content node supports. This will help you determine which metadata attributes to display in your channel. You can map the metadata in your feed to a scene graph component in a few steps. Generally, you create a content node, set its attributes to the metadata in your feed, and then add the content node to the UI component. For example, to populate a grid on your channel's homepage with your movie catalog, you create a single root content node, iterate through the content feed to add the row title, and then the thumbnail image, title, description, and other descriptive attributes for each movie in the row. The metadata for the movies in the row are stored in a series of child content nodes. In this example, each child content node represents an individual movie. Finally, you add the root content node to the grid. To create the content feed, you first want to determine which metadata items you want to surface to users. Consider which items are most important for users to find and select content in your channel. You can also review the content metadata documentation for the descriptive, playback, and DRM fields you might want to include. Use your analysis to create a template with the selected metadata fields. You can then programmatically populate the metadata fields of the content node with the data from your content catalog. When you are done creating the feed, you need to host it on your website, a content delivery network, or CDN, online video platform, or OVP, or other hosting solution. You can also contact one of Roku's third-party developers to create your feed. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more Roku developer videos, subscribe to our channel. And for the rest of the videos in this course, as well as additional demos and tutorials showing you how to develop on one of the world's leading streaming platforms, check out the link to the Roku developers video site in the description below.